So good evening. I'm Angela Nazarian. For those, yes, thank you. For those of you who don't know me, I'm David Nazarian's wife, but more importantly, I'm his boss. <laughs> well, it's such a delight to see so many friends, old and new, here this evening. David and I have been so blessed in our lives, and we're so excited to have this opportunity to change the future for tomorrow's global business leaders. I have never seen David as excited to be a part of something as he is about his involvement with the College of Business at CSUN. So a big hand for you. Tonight, we're thrilled to share with you our passion for the college's plans. And we hope this will inspire you to become more involved. CSUN is a vital part of its community, region, and state, a fact that is recognized by local and state leaders. One of the great joys about becoming more involved at CSUN has been getting to know its president, Diane Harrison. I have seen her up close, and she is a force of nature. She really is. Her dynamic leadership serves as an inspiration to all of those around her, Recognized for her active civic leadership and service in higher education, she has served on boards and committees of more than 65 national and state and local organizations. She is the fifth president of CSUN, and I'm happy to say that the third woman in a row to serve in the office, making her a dynamic role model for women. Her focus on student success is sincere and unwavering. Please help me welcome CSUN President Diane Harrison. Thank you, Angela. That was very kind. It's been a great pleasure for me getting to know you and David as well and witnessing your awesome commitment to higher education. We are so pleased to be working together with you to fuel the ambitions of our business and economic students. Your $10 million gift and your help in raising an additional $15 million will indeed change the face of business. I, too, want to welcome everyone to this wonderful, incredible evening to celebrate David's tremendous generosity and the future that his support, and I hope yours, will create. The David Nazarian College of Business and Economics is a driving force behind the momentum that is happening across the university. This momentum ripples around the globe, literally, through our international partnerships. Most recently, I'm proud to say that the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México, or UNAM, selected CSUN as its North American partner for research, faculty, and student collaboration. I know that the UC system is seeking such partnerships. <laughs> in Mexico. Sorry. <laughs> and we will partner with them as well, of course. <laughs> but UNAM, and you should understand, with its 129,000 students just in its Mexico City campus, is consistently ranked as one of the most prestigious universities in Latin America. We join their European partner institution, the Sorbonne, the Beijing University of Foreign Studies, and three other globally prominent universities with similar partnerships with UNAM. CSUN was the first 
American University also to host an academic delegation from China when it transitioned away from its isolationist stand in the 1970s. We now have active partnerships with more than 45 Chinese universities. And others have taken note of the success of the model of diversity and have chosen to invest in it. CSUN was recently awarded a National Institutes of Health grant of, of nearly $22 million over the next five years to make a nationwide impact on enhancing the diversity of the country's biomedical workforce. This is not an insignificant amount, obviously, but it is a significant nod to CSUN's commitment to excellence in a very difficult funding climate. Our two newest buildings on campus, the Valley Performing Arts Center, which is ranked number two in the nation for performing arts venues associated with the university, and our Student Recreational Center, which is ranked number four in the nation for similar facilities on a university campus, are both gold lead certified, meaning that they meet the very highest and difficult, and I have to say expensive to achieve, <laughs> standards for environmental sustainability. We are committed to not letting the financial circumstances of students be a barrier to a world-class education. And as proof of our commitment, during this school year, more than 18,000 CSUN students received a cumulative $79 million in Pell Grants. That was, thank you. You have to understand that CSUN serves more Pell students than any other university in the state of California. Our amount of awards was nearly $10 million ahead of the second university on the list, and we are third of any public university in the United States. I use that example to point out that all of this is part of our ongoing elevation of the people, the culture, and the economy of Los Angeles. We are rising at a faster pace than ever before, and that is central to the David Nazarian College of Business and Economics. They are playing a key role here. The college's plans for the future have the potential to raise business education to a new level. And I can think of no better person to share them with you than the man heading up those changes. And to tell you more, please help me welcome the Dean of the David Nazarian College of Business and Economics, Dr. Kenneth Lord. Ken? Thank you, President Harrison. It is a real honor and pleasure to lead the David Nazarian College of Business and Economics. And I am excited about the plans that are in store for its future. Let me tell you more about the college. We have the third largest business school west of the Mississippi and the ninth largest in the country. We are among the top business degree granting institutions as evidenced by our accreditation from the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business. We're home to the second best MBA program in the 23 campus CSU system, according to US News and World Report. And the college is consistently recognized as a national leader in Princeton Review's list of best business schools and the best schools for financial planners by Financial Planning Magazine. Last year, Students in our finance program again won top prize in the value stocks category of the Rise Investment Portfolio Competition. 
an event that drew competitors from nearly 300 business schools around the country. David and Angela and the many others who have made gifts to the college are assuring students' ascendancy toward their future. Thanks to our donors' generosity and foresight, we are poised to make the changes that will transform the education business students receive and influence how they will lead the world's economy. I would like to get a little bit personal, if I might, in sharing an experience that I enjoyed with our graduating students in accounting and information systems last spring. Early in that ceremony, Paul Lazzaroni, chair of the department, turned to the graduates in our matadome and asked them a series of questions. How many of you speak one language, he asked. Not a trick question, he assured them. A few hands rose. How many speak two? Most of the hands went into the air. He kept raising the number, and it did not end until one graduate indicated that she spoke six languages. How many of you are first generation college students, he asked. Probably more than half of the hands were raised. How many of you are first generation Americans? Nearly half of the hands rose. How many of you are graduating in only three years? A couple of hands went up. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Uh, a follow-up question explains some of the longer times to graduation. How many of you worked at least part-time through your degree programs? Most of the hands went up. How many of you are going on to graduate school? Several hands. How many of you already have a job lined up in your chosen career path in accounting or information systems upon graduation? Almost all the hands went up. By the time Dr. Lazzaroni finished his questioning, and I looked out into the excited faces of many parents who had sacrificed to help their children have a future, a future much brighter than anything they will most likely experience personally, I was discreetly trying to wipe, wipe the tears away from my eyes. I left that event that night, profoundly grateful, and went home, and I wept openly as I told my wife how blessed I am to be part of a university and a college that are making such a meaningful and lasting difference in the lives of such deserving students. It has been a profound pleasure for me getting to know David and seeing firsthand his deep commitment and passion for business education. I found that he is in complete alignment with what our business faculty want and need to help their students shine. David is a man with big dreams and the perseverance to see them through. With your help and his, our dream of changing the face of business will become a reality. The brush. Thank you. The brochure that you have at your tables also contains stories of some of our business students, some of them here tonight, climbing toward their aspirations, and some of the faculty who are enabling their ascent. Two such individuals will share their stories with you tonight. Professor Rafi Efrat is a professor of accountancy and director of CSUN's Bookstein Institute, named after our alumnus and generous supporter, Harvey Bookstein. Thank you, Harvey. <clears throat> the Bookstein Institute is a hub for education, scholarship, and community service and taxation in the greater San Fernando Valley area. Professor Efrat, was recently named the 2014 Outstanding Educator in California by the California Society of Certified Public Accountants. I'm also very proud to announce, Mel, uh, to introduce, excuse me, Mel Leison, a 
a recent CSUN graduate in finance who so impressed Ernst & Young during her internship with them that they hired her a year before her graduation. She was a star student, earning a 4.0 grade point average, serving as president of the college's Business Honors Association, and earning multiple scholarships. I hope their stories are as inspiring to you as they are to me. Rafi, Mel, welcome. Good evening. It's such a pleasure to be here with you tonight to celebrate the David Nazarian College of Business and Economics. Wow, I love that name. David Nazarian College of Business and Economics. That sounds so great. It is the college that impacts, has been preparing students for their future as business leaders. Working with smart, eager students who work tirelessly to affect change on a regional and global scale inspires me to want to provide the best possible education in my classroom, in my classroom and beyond. With your help, we can transform business education at CSUN and raise students like Mel even higher. Mel, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Dr. Efrat. Um, I've worked hard my whole life, but without a little help, I found that hard work alone is not enough to get me to where I want to go. See, I come from a single parent, low income household, and paying for college was not easy. And although I held a steady string of part time jobs throughout my time at CSUN, it was through scholarships and the generosity of our donors that college became a reality for me, and I was able to focus on my studies. Will Durant wrote in The Story of Philosophy that excellence isn't an act, it's a habit. And in my four years at CSUN, I saw so many other students just like me work hard to embody that quote. And we do that by taking advantage of every opportunity that was presented to us. And in my case, that meant maintaining my GPA, serving as president of the Business Honors Association, and turning my internship at EY into a full-time position. And I haven't stopped working hard since I graduated in May. I recently passed the first of four of my CPA exams, and I thank you. And I'll be sitting for my next one on Saturday. I should be studying tonight, and Dr. Fred, I will, don't worry. Um, but speaking of opportunities, I couldn't pass this one up. I'm so honored to have been invited to speak tonight and to share a little bit about my journey at CSUN and to thank those who helped make my future into my present. And David, Angela, I continue to be inspired by your commitment to our school, our students, to me. And I cannot wait to see what the Nazarian College will accomplish with your help and with yours. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Rafi and Mel, for sharing your personal stories. They're an inspiration for us all. The Nazarian family has always been ahead of the curve. They were one of the lead investors in the company that was the dominant provider of satellite-based tracking systems for the transportation industry, which merged with Qualcomm in 1988. Neem's Capital, of which David is president, has invested in, operated, and overseen numerous investments across a broad spectrum of industries. David's philosophy is to be active in the management of his investments through a variety of roles. He is always deeply involved. In true form, he has taken an active role with the David Nazarian College of Business and Economics, his latest investment in the future of business. It is our pleasure to present to you his and our vision of how that future will unfold through a brief video.
California State University, Northridge, a place where 40,000 success stories launch every day. The beating heart of the San Fernando Valley, whose influence extends throughout Southern California. One of the largest universities in the nation, CSUN is a rising force, elevating those around us. Our students don't just take the opportunity we provide. They run with it to realize their potential and exceed their own expectations. Because when they rise, we all rise with them. Fueling the region's economy with doers used to heavy lifting and innovators undaunted by obstacles, CSUN alumni, along with robust applied research and community service programs across campus, make our region a better place. And the world is taking note. We don't just serve a large number of students, we serve them well. Money Magazine called us one of the top 10 values in all of higher education. Our size, combined with the quality of our education and student experience, elevates all of Southern California. CSUN is a mirror of Los Angeles. The word diverse is not diverse enough to reflect CSUN's strength in serving all students. Beyond our region, CSUN partners with more than 100 institutions of higher education in 22 countries around the globe. Yet we don't define ourselves by what we've done, only by what we'll do next. Matadors stand ready to change the face of business in dozens of industries throughout Los Angeles and beyond. CSUN lifts the region, and the David Nazarian College of Business and Economics is leading the charge. The largest business school in Los Angeles and one of the largest in the nation, the college is climbing the rankings of U.S. News & World Report, Princeton Review, and Financial Planning Magazine. Our accreditation from AACSB International places CSUN among the top 5% of business degree granting institutions in the world. Our alumni go on to incredible success. Our accounting graduates disproportionately populate the ranks of managing partners in accounting firms throughout Southern California. This is the proving ground for the business leaders of tomorrow. And with the right support, our students are more than a workforce. They are a force for work. CSUN is where the entrepreneurial spirit lives and thrives. In students like Alan Campos, the 2014 Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce Young Entrepreneur of the Year. The College of Business produces a community of community leaders, a spreadsheet of CEOs. An investment in them becomes an investment in our future. I really believe that I can make a difference in the lives of students, and I want to make a difference in the lives of students. That's what motivates me. That's why I do what I do. Hundreds of entrepreneurs found their start here and experienced the drive to change the face of business. One of our most visionary alumni to see the potential in CSUN students is David Nazarian. His unprecedented gift of $10 million has triggered a new surge toward excellence in the college that now bears his name. The Nazarian family came to the United States in the wake of the Iranian Revolution. David continued west to Los Angeles, earning a degree in business administration at CSUN. David is a role model. Not only supporting him and his family, he's supporting all the community, include those students which is coming to learn, and he's going to support that. Taking advantage of opportunities to rise and become successful is the real essence of the American dream. So making an investment in CSUN translates into investing in students. Our family really values education. It opens doors and levels the playing field. And David has always looked for ways to make a difference, and he found the perfect investment at his alma mater. David Nazarian has a 30-year track record of success in seeing early on what others don't. Time and time again, he has seen potential and invested in winners. He sees that potential at CSUN. David understands the importance of giving back, but he is also a savvy investor. He sees the growth potential his investment will have here at CSUN. My name is on the college, and I carry the weight of that responsibility to the students. 
are motivated to make sure that they have every resources needed to be successful. David Nazarian's gift, combined with the investment from other like-minded leaders, is sparking CSUN to change the face of business in Los Angeles and beyond. Transformative, catalytic, elevating. The David Nazarian College of Business and Economics unveils a new vision for business and business education, a vision that is as accessible as it is powerful. To realize this vision, CSUN is increasing opportunities for students in the global marketplace. Technology touches every part of our daily lives. Students will face emerging technology no matter what field they pursue. Thanks to David and others like him, CSUN is bringing the latest workforce tools to students. Mentoring, internships, hands-on professional development and instruction. These are the elements of success for CSUN students and the reason they are prepared to hit the ground running. You can't change the face of business without increasing opportunities for women and minorities to enter and excel in business. Students often come to CSUN with expectations for their future already in place. We help them see that their potential is greater, that their impact can be greater. That's the difference. That's what we deliver. They rise higher because of CSUN. The reason why I wanted to give this gift is because I believe that education is the most important factor in economic mobility. With quality education, we can boost the chance of success. CSUN is in a special situation with the student body that they have. With your gift and my gift, we can have a big influence on their life. Okay, I brought the tissue. <laughs> what President Harrison didn't know is that when she was gonna ask me that the side effects of me being very emotional. I adore you. Oh. From personal experience, um, I can tell you that when David and I walked on the Northridge campus, we were overwhelmed with a sense of excitement that our investment in CSUN will touch so many students' lives. And I imagine what it must have felt like for David, who graduated in 1982, to walk by Oviatt, the, icon, the iconic library that you saw in the video, and see how far he's come from those early days. 32 years later, he's once again reconnecting with the college community as a mentor, a partner, and a leader. Philip and I, and also our son Eli, along with the entire family, could not be more proud. The College of Business at CSUN is very personal investment for David not only because it's his alma mater and where he got his first start, but because it is also part of a, his personal and our family mission. And that mission is to offer greater opportunities for students. What he has done for CSUN is really David's life mission. And it's his life statement. And part of what I love and admire about David is that he's a man of commitment and action. Take, for example, when he met me. <laughs> I was 19 at the time. I was 19 years old. And we went out for four months. And after four months, we got engaged. And we've been married for 26 years. I told you, he's a man of commitment and action. <laughs> So when David likes something, he makes a decision, and he moves forward, 
and commits himself 100%. Commitment, action, and of course, his big, big heart is what defined David. Okay, I have to take a deep breath because I'll cry again. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. It shows not only in the way he is with his family and friends and in his business dealings, but is also his approach to philanthropy. For the past decade, David has, been a, has had a leadership role in a number of uh, educational institutions, but he's always shared that he wanted to make a very big impact, waiting for the right time and finding the right institution. And after many years, David and I had come on campus to see a show at the Performing Arts Center, and that very evening, he turned to me and said, you know, I want to do something special here. Maybe it's for the business school. Well, David is a man of his words. Within months, we were back to celebrate the naming of the David Nazarian College of Business and Economics. I could literally see David beam with happiness when he was walking around with the kids on campus. The gift is not only for the school, but also for ourselves. I, along with our sons, Philip and Eli, could not be more proud. David has been a great mentor for our boys and for myself in showing how rewarding it is to put our time and attention to furthering the cause of institutions that really matter to us. Of course, no one can express the kind of commitment and passion better than David himself. So please help me welcome our honored guest, David Nazari. So for those of you that know Angela, know that I married up. <laughs> and for those of you that know, know her yet, you'll find that soon. So we've been married for 26 years. She's been my biggest supporter, my love. She's done so much for our family and for the community. And I'm so, so blessed to have you as my partner. Thank you, thank you to everyone for joining us this evening. A special thank you to Senator De Leon for joining us as well. President Harrison, at our first meeting, I came away knowing that CSUN is in the hands of a dynamic and tireless leader. I have great respect for your vision and your decision to making CSUN one of the finest educational institutions in California. Dean Lord, in the past few months, I have had the privilege of working closely with you. And I have to share how impressed I am with your vision and the execution of your strategic plan for the business school. Given that CSUN is one of the largest business schools in the nation, the work that we are doing together will impact a lot of people. I'm so thrilled that my siblings and my two boys, Philip and Eli, are here tonight. I'm especially grateful to my parents, Soraya and Yunus Nazarian, who are here, that they are foundation of our close-knit family. The two of them have taught us kids so much about hard work, optimism, and giving back. I share this honor with my family tonight. It was a sudden change for our plans in our lives when our first family immigrated to US in 1979. Because of the revolution that rocked Iran, we had to leave our home and businesses behind. And with very little, we began a new life here in the States. Much hard work and optimism was needed to strengthen our roots in this new country that we now call our home. What we now can say in hindsight is that what we accomplished here could only have happened in the United States. 
where people from different backgrounds are encouraged to innovate and build upon their dreams. We are here tonight to make sure that this culture of innovation, mobility remains strong here in our education institutions. If there were one factor that I would say is leading contributor to the health and progress of a society, it would be the strength of its middle class. A large middle class lowers inequality and brings more stability to a society. Now, what is essential in creating opportunities for mobility in the middle class is education. When we talk about education, we are really discussing access to affordable and higher quality education. This means that there should be a distribution of schooling across the population that rewards hard work, intelligence, and talent among students, regardless of gender, ethnicity, and socioeconomic status. <laughs> With the rising cost and growing burden of paying for university education, many young people today find it harder to, wear, to take advantage of this opportunity. This is why state schools have become increasingly important as they provide one of the best and most affordable education available. Unfortunately, with all the budget cuts in California, state schools have failed the schools most of all, and it comes down to us to support their mission. This is the biggest reason why I wanted to invest in CSUN. The student population of this school holds the key. CSUN serves over 40,000 students every year, out of which 55% are female, and close 75% are either minorities or from varying ethnic backgrounds. As you can see, CSUN is counted as one of the most diverse campuses in the nation. With 49% of the students are also from low-income families, yet, Findings show that CSUN students exceed expectations in graduate rates and later in alumni earnings. I believe this is the population that benefits the most. These are the kids that hold the promise of entering the new middle class. These are the kids that will become California's talented workforce, visionary policymakers, successful entrepreneurs, and business leaders. This is why investing in CSUN is so essential and important. I also believe that our local business landscapes, whether it is small businesses or well-established companies, provide the necessary conditions for a thriving community as it creates high-paying, innovative jobs and builds a steady workforce. CSUN College of Business and Economics, which I'm honored has been named after me, will be a tremendous training grounds for the thousands of future business leaders that walk through its doors. The college has been recognized for seven consecutive years as the best business school by Princeton Review. With our new capital investments, we are looking to take the business school to the next level. We would like to attract more of the best professors and faculty members and foster a culture of personal excellence in this program. We want to provide meaningful mentorship and quality internships that help in future career success. With growing globalization, we want to further build our relationship with other universities and international companies so that our students can gain the needed international perspective. We also know that the percentage of women entering careers in businesses are rising to the upper ranks, trails significantly the percentage of women going to the college in general. This means that it's a priority to have leadership programs and speaker series that are targeted for women. We have exciting plans for enhancing entrepreneurship program and opportunities at undergraduate and graduate level. In short, CSUN's mission is to place its graduates in some of the best companies. CSUN wants its graduates to go out and innovate, build their own businesses, and give back to the community. Certainly, this is an attainable goal, but of course, we need everyone's support to get there. We are leading a $25 million campaign. Some have already stepped forward to make this vision possible. Of course, your financial help is very important at any amount, but so is your time and attention, your mentorship, you being a link to the wider business community, your advocacy for the school and students are also very critical. 
I want you to know that I made this investment the same care and scrutiny that I gave to my other business activities. And I can tell you that CSUN is worthy of your investments too. Others share my conviction. Leaders like Harvey and Harry, Harriet Buxton, David and Cindy Malone, Chuck and Lisa Nasky, and Wayne and Roberta Colmer, and many others have long recognized the impact of the college and gen generously supported it over the years. I'm so grateful for all those who have supported the college in the past. I'm honored to join their ranks. I'm also excited that President Harrison has given me the delightful privilege of sharing some exciting news about several new gifts, commitments to the college. In the last few months since I made my gift, several individuals have added to the momentum and I would like to have them join me on the stage so we can all thank them and acknowledge the tremendous leadership and generosity. Charles and Lisa Noske, can you please join me? So Chuck is a retired chief financial officer of Bank of America and AT&T and account alumnus of CSUN. Thank you. <laughs> Paul and Adrian Jennings. Paul was a founder of PCS Telecom and PCS Development as a CSUN marketing alumnus. Ken and Anna Floyd. Ken is here tonight. He's a retired chief executive officer and co-founder of Artissimo Holding and a CSUN business alumnus. <laughs> Richard and Julie Schweitzer. Richard is, is here tonight. He's a CFO and Chief Risk Officer for Aristotle Capital Management and received both finance and accounting degrees from the college. <laughs> These good folks, along with several others, including one very special generous donor who wishes to remain anonymous have committed another $6 million toward the good work of this college. <laughs> Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. There is one other very special donor who has recently made a major gift commitment in the college. And I think you'll understand if my gratitude for this particular donor goes a bit deeper. Mom, Dad, thank you for all you're doing for our students and for me. Please stand up. Thank you. Friends, we have such an opportunity to make a huge difference for so many students. We have to seize it. Please think about how you might become a part of this good and noble work. In the coming weeks and months, I, along with my friends at the university, will be in touch with you to continue the conversation. But of course, you don't have to wait until then. <laughs> President Harrison. <laughs> Dean Lord and the other CSUN leaders who are seated throughout the room would be happy to answer your questions or put you in contact with someone who can work with you to shape how we can all help life-changing impact through the David Nazarian College of Business and Economics. This is an exciting new chapter for CSUN. I'm thrilled I've become a partner in helping CSUN 
touch as many lives as possible. And I hope you'll join me in this mission. Thank you. You see, I told you he was passionate about this. If I may, let's give all the generous donors and David a round of applause. Thank you all again for joining us this evening. We hope that you've been inspired by what you have seen and heard, and have a wonderful evening.